Vini Feldstein is Broadway's new Funny Girl. The book smart star has just been cast in the Broadway revival. Funny Girl is set for this coming spring. It's back on Broadway for the first time in nearly 60 years and features some of the most iconic songs in theater history, including Don't Rain on My Parade. And Glee alum Leah Michelle is all about it. Fans of that show probably remember Leah's character was cast in a revival of Funny Girl. And for a while, it was rumored she'd actually get the part in real life. But as soon as news broke that Beanie landed the role, Leah threw in her full support, giving her a big shout out on Instagram. Paul Wontora caught up with Leah Michelle. Get ready for me, love, cause I'm a comer. I simply gotta march, my heart's a drama. Don't bring her on a cloud to rain on my parade. Theater fans fell in love with Leah Michelle for her star turn as Rachel Berry on TV's Glee, and of course, her incredible work in the Tony winning musical Spring Awakening. I met up with Leah at her old stomping grounds right here at the Eugene L. Neal Theater to talk all things Broadway. So, 15 years ago, yeah. you were starring in Spring Awakening. Everybody loves Spring Awakening. You were fantastic. Here. Lots of memories here. A lot here. has happened here. Uh, I feel like I'm just like transported back in time. And, that, and an amazing cast, and they've all gone on to such great things. I know I you're know. all friends. Well, it, it was such a special time and such an incredible show, and we're really lucky that as a cast we've you know, remain in, in contact and seeing each other and Jonathan Groff and I are obviously still as inseparable as we were. And we talk about it all the time, you know, and just how special this time was really for all of us. Yeah. But I've also heard a lot of stories about this cast <laughs> because you were all young. Oh yeah. And experiencing Broadway <laughs> fame together. I mean, that show blew up. You guys all sort of blew up at the same yeah. time. So do you want to talk anything about, like what oh was it God. like being in, the hit of Broadway with that group of people right here on this side. I mean, Jonathan Groff and I used to get into so much trouble together during the show, which I don't know how we got away with this, uh -huh. but at some point during the show when Venlo and Melchior were not on stage, we would come out here on the street in our costumes. In costumes. Which is like not allowed. <laughs> and it was the night before the Tonys, the Tony nominations came okay. out. And Jonathan was like, let's go to St. Malachy's across the street. Let's okay. go to the church. So we go to the church, we light a candle, like, dear God, please give us Tony nominations, which we're such theater kids. And next thing you know, he takes out a $50 bill from his pocket and puts it into the basket. And I was like, wait a minute. I didn't bring any money. I didn't know we were, oh. I don't, I'm in my costume. I didn't know you had pockets in your, you know, 1890 garb. And he was like, Oh, well, I really wanted to make a donation. And I, and I was like, I can't, I can't believe it. This isn't good. I didn't I didn't give the church a donation. Sure enough, I didn't get a nomination. He went up day. to you. He got a, That's he, what he happened? Got a Tony nomination. That, now we know what happened. I did not. <laughs> did, I never understood why you didn't get a nomination. I, now we know why. I can explain to you exactly John why. Jonathan And well, he, you know, he $50. did a good thing. You know, $50. yes. Yeah, you have such an interesting career because you got your start in the theater and then you got to become famous playing a theater loving Rachel and like Glee, <laughs> and you got to like sing all these show tunes I know. And, and it was so Broadway adjacent. Totally. Yeah. So. It was meant to be because I think that like all of that experience of being a child on Broadway certainly fueled Rachel Berry. I, I was yeah, able to absolutely. use a lot of that yeah. like experience and, and my love for theater. But it's it's an incredible to be able to, you know, move off to LA and then come back and be back in my city and you know, seeing shows again, and um, you know, this is my home. I was I was born here. Yeah, talk about the community because obviously the community's been through a lot. Mm -hmm. I know that it's been sort of difficult to watch the theater community not have Broadway you know. and not be able to thrive and sort of figure out how to get through it. What's it been like for you as someone who I know loves this world and came from this world and maybe considers themselves part of the world? What's it been like for you to watch all this? You know, the whole world stuff. Yeah. Obviously. In, in, in 2020, but there's just something about when Broadway is not open, it just, it doesn't feel right. You know, obviously sad for, for multiple reasons, and that's why this return is going to be even more beautiful for so many people mm -hmm. and for New York to have theater alive and well again. Yeah. Broadway is magic. There is nothing like sitting in a Broadway theater and sitting in the seat. I mean, I've, I've had the you know, pleasure of being in Broadway shows myself, but even as an audience yeah. member, I experience that magic. So all I can say is if you're a theater lover, come back, come see your favorite shows. I can't wait to see all the shows I've already seen 20 times. I can't wait to see them again. Um, <laughs> but 
if you haven't had the opportunity, there is truly nothing like it. Yeah. It's, it's magic right in front of you. You're a mom. I am. I am so having the best time yeah. being a mom. It's so wild. And even hearing you say it, like yeah. I've stopped and be like, I can't believe it. It feels so surreal. I don't know. I'm experiencing a level of love that I never thought I, I ever could. Now and then when I see his face. By the way, Leah is releasing a lullaby album dedicated to her one-year-old son this fall. It's called Forever, and Leah is covering everything from Guns N' Roses to Christina Perry.